Good morning. This is a, the September regular meeting of the Historical Commission, September 8th, a little after 10, 10, 10.09 a.m. Present are Elaine Wickstrom and myself, June Miller. We are gonna wait a few minutes to see if we can get our third commissioner present or on Zoom. Hi, Mary. Or if you want to join in on June, is, okay. June is June is June is set up here. June is set up here, um, and um, if you just want to join us on Zoom, it's fine. Yeah, she's set up to run the meeting, and if you want to just join us on Zoom, do you need the webinar number? Well, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you right now. 853. Okay, thank you. Did he forget? Okay, our third commissioner will be with us shortly. Until then, we will just wait a bit. You could probably just come with me, but I don't know if you want to. Okay. Recording in progress. Okay. We're having a couple of technical difficulties. Okay. It's, it's, it's a reverb, so. Well, I wonder if it if it will let me know when. Yeah, I think that's a reverberation issue. So I would just bring your chair so that you could at least see the monitor. It'd be good if they could see you too, but I don't know if, there yeah, we go. Okay. 
Oh, so it's the reverse of what we are. I know. Okay. Yeah. It took me a while to figure that out. Let me get, <laughs> let me get my stuff. I think I'll take off my sweater yes. now that I guess I shouldn't. Nobody else is watching, so I guess I don't have to worry. Okay, you can hold that. Um, I just have a, you know when you go in my town government? Yeah. And um, it's historic commission. And then look at that. And Mary is still the chair on the very front. I know. Is there any way that can change? I guess um, I've told Mary about it. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know how to invite, or maybe. Maybe I need to send him an invitation. Oh dear, shouldn't have done that. No, I'm off. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. I guess I better not send yeah. an invitation. I know. I wasn't, that's why I didn't. Did he forget or did you don't know? Well, do you want to get started? I guess I better get my agenda. We still don't wonder who is in the building that we could ask about. No, if he's going to zoom. Dennis is here. Yeah.
Oh. What did you find anything out? We tried calling Eloise, mm -hmm. and for some reason she couldn't hear me. Oh. <laughs> can it get any worse? I said we can sit here with dead airspace for an hour. I hate doing it. Well, we can cover other things, right? We we can, yeah. Um, maybe he'll just come. Maybe he'll just walk over, you know, come yeah. over. Um, well, we want to prove that it's right when we're back. I mean, I would think he would call you back if if he can't get on. Yeah, we hear Does he know your cell number? I mean, I want to. All you have to do is hit my hell back. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. Okay, did you notice that Tim's. Um, Yes. Came in lower. Yes. Yeah. I. I, I, I yeah. By about. Well, why don't we start the meeting? We've been recording since 10.08, but we have, we're finally going to start the meeting at 10.24. This is September 8th. This is the regular September meeting of the Historical Commission. And attending are uh, Elaine Wickstrom and myself, June Miller. We are still awaiting our third commissioner, Barry Ager and hope that he will uh, join us on Zoom or um, come by. We, we need, just as an introduction, we need to take three votes today. Um, one is to approve our minutes or not, and the second to confirm 
uh, that Tim Walhuter has completed the weatherization project and that uh, Margaret can um, process payment to him. Uh, Elaine just noted that his, uh, his cost came in under estimate. Do you know how, how much under estimate? It's back to that original amount, 81. Yeah. Uh, it was not, it was nine something and his came in. 91.50. 91.50 and his uh, invoice is for 84.50. So that's a good thing. And um, according to our visit, uh, last Friday, we determined that everything, every aspect of the weatherization had been fulfilled. Um, I did notice that he left behind a board and batten door that, that was replaced. Maybe. So um, it just adds to the other pile that we have back there. Yeah, I just thought maybe he left it because we keep a bunch of stuff. Yeah. He wasn't sure. Yeah. I, that's the only thing I can. He was of. he was adding to the donation pile because <laughs> he did leave he did leave the pintles and the straps and everything. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, number three. All right. I decided I could get here for that so that I could get the computer to work. You okay. got that right. <laughs> it was not <clears throat> right at all. Okay. Now, um, now we're missing Elaine a little bit. This is oh, we got strange. Barry. That's okay. You know what? If we move over behind June, you, you just um, yeah, that works. That works. Mm -hmm. and then I'll... You can move in there. All right. There you go. Get the space between us this way. Yeah. Okay. We were just um, commenting on uh, the payment for Tim Walhuter. Um, his cost came in lower. Than the estimate, that he, bill. then yeah, yeah the yeah. invoice is lower than uh, the RFQ quote by right almost now. a thousand, maybe. I haven't ticked seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. I haven't ticked down the list of stuff, but the windows were all in and the doors were all on. Yeah. Yes. We, uh, June and I did a walk around. Okay. And. Um, we ch um, Elaine checked off pretty much everything. I don't have the list with me, but I did check. I, I yeah. had the RFQ no, and, I, and I did the checklist. Yeah. And um, so I, I have no problems with Margaret paying if you want to make a vote. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can we have a vote? To I move that we pay the bill to Ken Lovio for the, the amount of weatherization. The amount. In uh, $8,450. So, uh, second. Yeah, is there a second? No. <laughs> yes. Elaine, second. <laughs> okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I, I guess we have to take yeah, a roll call vote. vote. Yeah. So, Barry? Oh. Ega, aye. Elaine? Wait, Elaine, aye. June, aye. Unanimously yep. voted. Yep. Okay. So rather than backtrack, why don't we just go to the SIL RFQ and decide on whether we whether Cronenberger's proposal is acceptable? I thought it was very good. It was only I've never seen it. I don't know if I I never saw it, but I never saw it. We all get the emails. Um, I saw I never saw an email that had this stuff in it. Is this the only one? The other one, the other quote is was way over. It was like sixty five thousand right. dollars. So there were only two quotes. This is only a few thousand over um, the original estimate. So the original estimate was uh, for so Tim's. I mean, yeah. yeah. The, uh, from the uh, evaluation of the uh, bullet house. Well, at least we got to meet him. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's closer to Tim's. Because mm -hmm. at, yeah, so at least we got to meet Cronen, uh, that him, yeah. Yeah, Loveless, Mr. Loveless. Cronenberger. Well, and, he's seen the thing. Yeah. Now, and, I don't think anybody from the other outfit would have seen it. No. I mean, 
right? No, certainly not on right. the inside. Yeah. He refers to the um, project documents and the conditions he saw. So. Mm -hmm. I don't see any problem with that. Okay. And Margaret doesn't see any problem with that, did she? No. 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 There was a <clears throat> there was a uh, communication from Tim. Yes, I, 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 saw, I that. saw that. Yeah. I saw I've I've seen several different things, but I never saw this. Yeah. Um, and, uh, she said we can't um, unless this is not uh, acceptable, then we can't try to yeah. include him. Yeah. yeah, I don't see any reason this isn't so okay. we've got enough money there for it. Right. Okay, so let's have a vote. Um, I make a motion yep. that we uh, move to uh, have Margaret notify uh, Cronenberg. Is it? Uh, yeah, Cronenberg and Sons Restoration Inc. Proceed um, with issuing the uh, what does she call it? Hmm? Notice to proceed. Notice to proceed. Does right. she have to? Is there anything in before that? She has to notify them that we've accepted the bid, or we have to notify uh, them that we've, okay. that we've uh, voted Move on. to have Cronenberger and Sons Inc. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we have to notify Margaret um, that it's okay that we that we yes. voted. She's got to have the select men do the contract. Right? Oh, that's no, right. To, okay. Right. We're actually recommending to the select. Right. Board. Right. That we voted to accept their quote. Yep. So let's vote to accept. We'll accept. Okay, I make a motion to accept the uh, quote from Cronenberger and Sons Restoration Inc. for 19600 excuse me, $19,960 to restore the uh, sales in the bullet house. And to recommend that to the select board. Yeah, yeah, we recommend to the select board that they accept that. Second. Okay. We have a second. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. All in favor? Uh, Barry? You have to give us a roll call. <laughs> we have to do a roll call. Vega Rye. Elaine, Elaine I. June I. She ordered all the stuff. Yeah. OK, so we've taken care of two votes. Now, I think we should probably backtrack to the minutes, which I sent out quite a while ago. Okay, here are the minutes. I have to say, um, on the CPA, if anyone sat in on that, I was not available that night. I had my day and uh, did not attend. So, um, well, you were there for the hearing, though. No, yeah, the public hearing you were there, I thought. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't there for our meeting, our final yeah. meeting. Oh, the meeting after that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what the outcome of that was? I'm sorry. No. Okay. Just, uh, I've been going to talk to Tim Wheeler about the business about the <laughs> conservation restrictions. There ought to be a place to put that into that document. Some other town must have it somewhere as to where that fits, because we really should have it in the if we if we uh, give any money to anyone that well to ascertain whether that is an eligible thing and where it should belong in your 
right. in that policy. Right. Because that, that some was, other towns must have tried to do it, and we we just need to know what. Right. Yeah, that was that was. We have that, that. That shouldn't be in limbo. That should be in there. Somewhere. Right. Right. Yeah. In in the plan itself, in the CPA plan itself. Or, or in the application? I'm in not... the document that they were reviewing at the meeting, which is the committee's policy for how it will operate. Yeah. They have that here yeah. somewhere. Yeah, that, that, so... meeting, that meeting went pretty well. Yes, yeah. it was all right. Yeah. Too bad I missed the last one. But, um... <clears throat> I actually brought the whole CPA thing, downloaded the whole mm -hmm. uh, policy. Well, we should have that in our file. And I think, I don't think that they've made that little edit. Um, they copied uh, part of it from the Canton community. Mm -hmm. And so there's a reference to the CCPA, which oh, yeah. confused right, me, right, but right. that right. needs to be. But the the substance is there anyway. Right. Well, Tim yeah. said that was going to be fixed. Yeah, yeah sometime. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. If you if you go to the um, state's website um, for the CPAC, um, they have a lot of information there. Yeah. Um, and more specific, much more specific. Oh. And, and we have to follow their guidelines. Sure. Um, so. Well, it's the old story. It's a state program, and so it's the state's rules. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and our lives are more complicated. Right. 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 <laughs> okay. So back to the minutes. What do you think? Um, Move to accept. Second. Okay. There are two or three things in here that we should reflect on. Okay. Um, that the move to the curatorial building and fire station is complete. Um, I've not seen anything further about 65 Walmart Street. Yeah, you know, I had a uh, 19 Carter annual meeting yesterday and uh, Mary Porter, I think she was going to ask me something, but she, unfortunately, she she climbed Mount Monadnock and she fell. Oh. She's not, you know, hurt badly, but she arrived late and we never, I never got a chance to ask. I mean, it's not related to 19 Carter, actually, yeah. but I would have, mm -hmm. would have asked. But Evie did ask me if... Um, we had voted on it and i said well i don't believe that barry has gotten we haven't gotten anything to vote on yeah so um i think maybe if he just misunderstood that um mary hadn't gotten the contractor secured yet because is the contractor or the owner has to apply for a permit is it the owner has to apply or the contract the contractor con generally does either, that. either either but either. Either. Yeah. okay um, we don't deal with it formally until there is a demolition permit of application. I've had two or three of those lately on alter, alterations to ranch houses and stuff that I've got processed through. Yeah. Um, additions mostly. One of them is going to be a complete, you know, Turning a little ranch house into a two-story house. Well, that's what they're doing all over the place. Yeah, turning it into a McMansion. Um, so we've we've so not heard it, we've <clears throat> not seen anything okay. in regard to their applying for a permit. Okay, I'll just make sure that <clears throat> I, I know I'm pretty sure Mary knows she has to she has to apply, or, yeah. and it may be she doesn't have a a, a contractor that she wants yet. That could be. Yeah, I do know that um, the big tanks, the big fuel tanks have been, they, um, Marty went, I don't think he was able to take a picture, but um, they removed those by cutting a piece out to, 
exhaust the fumes and whatever mm -hmm. was remained and then they took them away. So those, I think there were two big fuel tanks. So that's two things that, good things that have been done or one good thing that's been done so far. Yeah. Um, okay. But those are, none of that's opposite yeah. concerns. Yeah, just something good that's happened there. Yeah, yeah. it's only demolition of structures. Okay. Um, I don't think there's... Uh, Anything and else in the minutes? It would be a good thing for us to uh, mention those while we, yeah, to follow we up. went on to other things. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, and that the this also mentions the business about the Hearst House material behind the Bullet House, and that was all that we removed that. Um, I have a question on that um, because I thought the last stack that was there, I thought I didn't realize that wasn't part of the, the uh, Hearst House. There's, oh, no. there's still all that's that stuff, stuff from there. The house. Um, yeah, but you said there was some things from the town hall. And shouldn't we remove all there's of that? There's not much from the town hall right now. I, 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 shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. There's a nothing of importance. Um, but there are timbers that were in the bullet house that I want to save, and they will go in the, the hearse house when the hearse house is back there. They'll go in that. That's what they've been sitting waiting for, to get to. Um, is there anything from that pile we can get rid of to? Oh, we have gotten rid of a lot of it. Okay. We 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 unlimbered a lot of that pile before the before the doors went and sent it off with that stuff. I started. I I had a few minutes yesterday before I went to 19 Carter mm -hmm. for the meeting, and I tried to unearth the uh, rebar and the the yeah. other metal. The uh, yeah, electric pipes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, I got a few out, and Marty's going to help me get the rest out, and we'll take them to, we'll put them in the recycling. The metal, metal recycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that I can do can today. Go. Okay, yeah. the, uh, I have a question about a pipe in the ground back there. This, oh, that long uh, pipe. Yeah, when we were walking around the bullet house, um, the next door neighbor uh, came over to chat with us, and she was doing a lot of cleaning up of um, ragweed and et cetera. And uh, you know, we, we said that was fine. You know, she yeah. was questioning whether or not it was okay because uh, of allergies and whatnot. And we said that was fine. And um, so there's a long pipe that runs down, and I went to lift that up because I thought, well, we've got to get that out of the way. And but it seemed to be, you know, like I don't know if it's stuck in dirt or debris further back. I didn't want to wreck anything if it was attached to something. I don't know. What it's it, it's about this big around. Yeah. And it's, it's a, it looks like a drain pipe or, or a and water it, and pipe. It, and it's perpendicular to the bullet house. You know, it runs uh, straight. It comes from down the, you know, the elevation behind. Mm -hmm. It's, you can't really see where it starts because there's too much foliage mm -hmm. there, but, but it's visible as it comes down. Right. Close to the building. Is that something we can- Is it on the surface? It's on, yeah, the on the surface. Yeah, it's a surface thing. It's oh, I don't think it's anything. Okay, so we can pull that out. I think so. Okay, I didn't want to wreck anything. Is it another piece of that electrical pipe, sir? Well, um, it's, it looks like that, but I'm not no judge of it. All, it's, it's the size of a handrail. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll try to look at it. Pull, pull it out of it. I, the, the, I don't think there's anything that's on the surface that's. Okay, so we can yank at that and pull it out. All right, okay. we can we can do it. Yeah, I, mean, right. I don't think there's anything on the surface that's anything there. Okay. It's just too long to, well, I might be able to bring it to the dump if it's not much longer than it appears to oh, be. Oh, yeah. We'll oh, see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so the historical collection, we have relocated everything that was in room 113 at least. yes 113 is is clear yeah, and they're clear. busily they've torn up the carpet they're changing every all kinds of things <laughs> not our problem and we turned in our keys yeah i turned in all of our keys to the room to my room. okay um 
I wanted to get started on writing that pre a pre application for uh, the scanning the inventory. You know, we had spoken about that mm -hmm. a couple of times actually, and, and in satisfying the insurance people, we mm -hmm. we indicated that that was something we were going to try to have funded. That we didn't have money right now to to do that in our own budget. So, um, you know, I'm happy to work with somebody on it. Otherwise, I'll try to start it myself. Just the pre-application, which is due, I don't know, um, December 1st. We're, yeah. We're, I think or is that the real application, December 1st? Yeah, I forget exactly. Uh, I'm not having it in front of me, but... Um, I know we're going to change the dates to make it more open so that people can, you know, pre-apply at any time. Mm -hmm. It yeah. says rolling, but right, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pre-application might be any time. Yeah, we're not going to put a date. But there would be deadlines when you're actually done. Right. The yeah. actual application. I think it was December first. I'll just put a question mark. I think that's going to uh, change. Be, be, maybe change. Yeah. The other thing that I'd like us to we work on as an, a pre app. This is, is the two portraits in the town hall that need attention the Chandler Carter portrait and the Artemis Bynes portrait. Mm -hmm. um, Do we have any ballpark figure? No, no, we'd have to, we'd have to, uh, we, we, we just got, we've got to get a restorer to look at them and get an estimate. I'm so far out of touch with that kind of a job. We haven't done one in about 50 years. So. I've had work like that done, but I've lost my contacts. They're yeah. no longer with us. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the kind of thing you've got to get a restorer and I, I don't even, Mm -hmm. have anybody in mind at this point so well um we are martin and i are members of the worcester art museum i could call them that's, and ask for a referral if, yeah. you, if you want me to yeah. that's where i'd start yeah yeah well the two that we had done were done at the worcester art museum and one of them was done for almost nothing because they weren't supposed to be doing outside jobs but when he saw it he says i want to work on this so Oh. He did it as a as a a learning experience because it was on Academy board, but rather thin. Oh yes, yep. Uh, board and he and so he did he did the Betsy Carter portrait and the Doctor Dot portrait for us. But that was, as I say, fifty years ago. I hate thinking it that long ago, but it is. <laughs> Do those have numbers? In yes, I think they do. Okay. Did we, when we put them in the new boxes, did we put the numbers on them? I think we should check on that. If the numbers were with them, we did. And I, I but we can look them up. I, they, they, oh. they have to have numbers. Okay. They have to have numbers. All right. Now, the yeah, portraits we, in the town hall. Those have numbers. Those have numbers too? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you've heard nothing further on the, uh, the child portrait? The Hastings oh, portrait. On the Hastings but portrait. Leslie Hastings. I have not heard anything further. I need to go find that email and contact her. I've not heard another thing about it. Maybe she's gonna hang on to it. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things I thought was that perhaps when uh did you um say she should get a, an appraisal for it? Um that shouldn't stop her from doing it. We could get the appraisal on it. No, we can't. We can't. Oh receiving oh. receiving. Oh, you can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's got the, the, okay. They've got to get that themselves. So that's probably the whole thing. Hmm? That's probably what's holding it up. Well, it could be. I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. But you will contact her? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll look that up. I'll try to look that up uh, this week and deal with that. Make sure that we kept in touch with her. Okay. So we've... We've actually talked about demolition delay. 
Yeah. Okay. Because the only thing we more on yeah, that. the only thing we know about is sixty is that sometime we'll hear about sixty five Walnut Street. Uh, the other other thing that's a little bit urgent right now is uh, that October sixteenth open house. Yeah. Um, I guess the first question I want to ask is whether you still feel comfortable uh, because our COVID um, climbing, our COVID information is not as good as it was. Mm. It's worse than it was a month ago. Mm. Yeah. One of the things I thought of, because I, I know they talked about moving ahead with the um, sale, you know, the craft sale. I, I think it's that Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Um, if they're still going to do that, I haven't heard any more. That we could we could move hours to that weekend and have a have something because you'll have more people going through. What do you think? I think COVID might be worse. I do too. So I but, I, but I'm just saying that would be a backlog point. I think I think it's gonna really explode after this past weekend. That's the big thing. Mm -hmm. Labor Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The amount of traveling. I Well, do you want it? I was on the Cape on Saturday at Labor Day weekend, and I was yesterday. Day and night indifference. I, you know, it was like the old days. It, uh, everything shut down <laughs> on Labor Day. Because um, the day after Labor Day, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't at all the same. There certainly weren't a lot of people around compared to what that did. Um, yeah, I'm I'm very concerned that Labor Day is going to produce another. Do you want me to cancel it? I really am on the right. fence. I, I feel that we need to have a presence, but oh, I think, I think oh yeah, not at the expense of yeah of people's safety, certainly, but uh, you suppose we could do some sort of a Zoom presentation? I mean, I, I'd have to rely heavily on you. I'm not much of a speaker. <laughs> well, maybe we could, but I think that from my point of view, I think right now the thing to do is is enliven the the um, Facebook thing, yes, and work on the and work on the on the website stuff, and get ourselves out there that way. I, I'm I, the more that I'm looking at this whole situation now, um, I'm not living my life in fear of going out, but on the other hand, I am avoiding crowds. And 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 you know d disparate gatherings, right? And um, I just don't. I think we need to. I think we need to work on engagement with the public in a big way because we have fallen down on that in the past year. You know that's all that was available, and we haven't been doing it. And we need to. We need to work on it and start putting things out there with some frequency and. We've got subjects that we've done some things about that we can put out there. Um, and we also can do things, I mean, some of the ideas about objects and other things that we were going to put mm -hmm. in that program, we could, you know, put a, a Facebook post out on something. Yeah, there's a, um, we started to put together uh, a slideshow of mm -hmm. past yeah. society programming and that is really fun to look at but that's that's i mean that has a, you know i don't know how many maybe 300 pictures so i'm not sure we can do anything with that except um tell people that it's <laughs> it'll happen someday i guess hello how are you well it may be it may be something that could be put up it also you also can take a photo or maybe two and put them up on Facebook with this is something that happened in this year and blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah. It's not we, a long thing. But a little... Do we have anything um, like in the collection that we can, you know, like, you know, we have. Oh, sure. We can always that we have great that. photos of, you know. Um... Either that we have photos or that we take photos. Yeah. You like. Sometimes it's just as easy to take photos now because then you've got a current digital file. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, no, we could certainly, you know, we could certainly put things from the collection out. Because I'm not, I'm not familiar at all, you know, um, with the full collection. Sure. Yeah, well, I, I guess no little pieces to it. Well. Now you've been working. You know what would be three, nice? Three, four years with working with collection stuff. And you've gotten a lot more appreciation of what the whole thing is. But still. But that doesn't mean yeah. you've seen everything. Yeah. yeah. And I see things every so often that I don't remember seeing before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I was thinking, like, even if we had, remember the um, all the house portraits that were up in the uh, old yeah. uh, in the store. general store? Um, I mean, that was really cool to see. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you could you could have a. Were they paintings or were they? The paintings, paintings, the paintings of well, all the old the, the They're in the, in the box under the table up next to the stuff. But do we have, we have photographs of all of those? No. Oh. No, we don't have. I mean, we, we really should shoot them so we have the picture as a whole. Can we work? Can we work on that? I think I think people would really love seeing those. Yeah. Um, you know, you can do more. Most of, of them still exist, but there's at least at least one that's gone. Really? These are Katie the Bacon. House. Oh, you're saying that? Oh, I thought you meant the painting was gone. <laughs> okay. No, no. The Katie Bacon's. Yeah. These are her her paintings. Yes. There are a few that other people did, but hers were the main source of that. That was something the Historical Society did in the 1950s to paint some of the old houses. The um, Well, I, I could, if you uh, would be willing to write a short piece about it, um, I can get Marty to shoot them. I, th I think that would be a neat thing to, to do. I mean, there wouldn't be much editing unless you know i mean this is just the kind of thing i'm talking about shoot that with a little piece to go with it right put one out right. every couple of weeks okay now she, she hasn't done anything yet i don't believe hmm? no but um she, i don't think she put anything up i don't know i i know that i, I mean I, she I, said she developed some stuff but we haven't seen it yeah she was going to pass it by us yeah I did right make, now, her yeah. parents are in town for a couple of weeks, so they're still there. Okay. She's busy. Okay. Okay. So, but we'll talk to her. I mean, those are things that we could be putting up on Facebook. Okay. And she has. She actually um, was able to take a couple of photos of Tim working. Oh, okay. And, yeah. And Marty. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, Marty. I sent that, Marty yeah. over there one day, but um, something interrupted him. His sister came by or something, and <laughs> and the shot that he wanted he didn't get, and so what he got was he said was too pathetic to use. But apparently Rebecca, <laughs> apparently Rebecca, got a couple of good ones of him okay. working. So well, that's fine. Uh, so she does have that. Might that'll be fun because people will if they didn't notice the work. Um, well, but, I, I'll have to see. I don't even have her email, but, but, but I'll call it. The other thing uh, I think we could inquire about is: Does anyone know of any other portraits, uh, you know, of, of houses in town? Because I know I've seen a beautiful one of the Zwicker farm um, when Ellen is, Ellen is Zwicker was alive. It was, uh, I think, it was a winter scene. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. And um, I'm not surprised that that would make sense. You don't know who has it. Though. I have no idea, but um, I'm sure someone in the family kept it. But if we had a photo of it, I think that would be wonderful. Yeah. You know, uh, and especially if it's dated, I don't know. There's a wonderful. But, I, but it's it's one of the nicest ones I've seen. The Freddie Wheeler family has got a wonderful one. Uh, Everett Wheeler's place. Oh yeah. Um, 
19th century, uh, late 19th century, uh, Grandma Moses kind of is yeah. a fabulous. Well, that's what, that's what this one was. It was very Grandma Moses. That's fabulous. And we've got a little bitty thing, which we could perhaps photo that uh, Grace Stamas had at one time and sold many years ago that came out of the family at Freddy's. And I think it's that house painted red um, in the 19th century, mm -hmm. probably by the same artist as the other one. Which farmhouse now? 104 Highland. Oh. Uh, uh, in uh, Balance Rock Farm, the old house at Balance Rock Farm. Okay. Um, um, and so we've got that. Um, but um, uh, we've just got a little tiny thing. But, but there's a painting of Everett's, right? Yeah, a painting of 171. And yeah. that that family has hanging in the house, has had for years. I don't know which house it's in now. Mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. I'll talk to Buddy. Hung in the dining room at the uh, big house. Yeah. When Freddie and Ruthie were there. And uh, yeah, easy enough to ask Buddy and Linda about it. Mm -hmm. They don't know. Yep. Yeah. The family treasured that. So yeah. uh, that's something that we should we should document exactly. anyway mm -hmm. and have a, a photo of it in the collection. So yeah. there's a um, <coughs> there's a painting of your house. Right. I I have negatives. I mean, I have that electronically. If you want that, it's in the reverse. It was a yeah, Ewing, Ewing, Ewing portrait right. of the house. Yeah, a winter scene also, but it's reversed. Yeah. And um, your husband photographed it for Louise. And um, so when I flipped it around, it's like, then my brain felt okay looking at the, at yeah. the place because it. Well, we could. Um, the painting is reversed or the, the paint, photo? Yeah. I think the painting was done from a photo that oh. was printed in reverse. Oh, okay. That, that could, that could well. Be. Yeah. Well, we could, that's an interesting little twist. We could show. Do you know this? The place and and not say anything like you know do you know this property do you know where this property is kind of thing that would be a nice thing to put on and um because you would you well the setting you do get the setting but um but because it, because it's, because i have it's no reversed. idea whether there's anything else out there like that that was ray ewing's that they might have a uh, yeah. Jock jock's father yeah um of course, we've got the one of the meeting house that hangs in the meeting house. That was his. Um, Do we have a photo of that for archives? No, I don't know that we've ever shot it. That would be wonderful. I mean, because if anything happened to the meeting house. Oh, I mean, yeah, any of those things should be. Yeah. But we've got two or three other things in the center of town like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember um, when the kindergarten was below, was downstairs in the children's yeah. church. There was a Carter portrait there. It was, it was named Carter Hall, I think, was the name of the, the, that room where they had the. Yeah. Uh, and I remember Carter got very excited when he when he went to kindergarten. He said, and he saw, you know, oh. What was that a picture of? And I, of I, that I don't. There was no. It was one of. It was a portrait. Oh. Okay, but it but I think the sign in the hall said Carter Hall, and there was a portrait there yes. of a Carter. Yes. So is that still there? No, but Where, we have it. The society has it, or the church has it. The church has it, mm -hmm. but the I mean, there's a portrait of Mary W. Carter, and there's a portrait of Chandler Carter. You, the Chandler Carter one is the one that's on the shelves that needs to go back in its frame, frames over in Children's Church, but I. Oh. It was sitting in the attic and it was falling out of the frame and mm -hmm. I took it and mm -hmm. put it in the collection to protect it, but it's, it's not, it belongs to the church. Yeah. On the map show. I've yeah, got to get Joni to. But couldn't we get, get photos reframe. of those things? I mean, oh, those, those are, those yeah, are real add treasures. On, add them on to the list. Um, we have some kind of a photo of those, not necessarily a really good mm. Mm. repro of it. The thing I was thinking of was to show um golden you know your home uh in first in the reverse the way it's painted and mm -hmm. then and then it, and, right. yeah right. 
just you know it's just an interesting right uh, right you can you can actually crop it electronically um, because the you you know when you flip it around for the house to look correct you know mm -hmm. ewing is backwards and yeah. um you know you can when you can crop that out um it looks fine it doesn't mess doesn't mess with your head <laughs> well we could i mean just to be just uh, i mean it's it, i'd like to us to we're do, obsessing on details yes yeah, we are we are yeah, exactly but, um, perhaps just to close it out if we get these uh, uh if we get these shots maybe that could be a, a zoom program on the 16th if you would be willing to to comment oh yeah and that would be offering something instead of nothing on that day oh um, it's a zoom thing yes a zoom thing oh yeah um get as many of these as we uh, i mean we can certainly we can maybe you be around <laughs> could we hang them in barnes hall and do a zoom thing from that because they have all those tracks up now for the uh... that's tricky it'd be better just to put up the slides i would think don't you think i don't i i, I don't know what okay what she's suggesting is and we need to move on but what she's right. suggesting is that um if we did we a, actually mount an exhibit and take pictures of it in the exhibit and, and have the zoom comment you know the zoom presentation from that from that but that i don't know how to do that <laughs> the most i could do is but well, maybe that's still something we want to something you want to take with it I don't know. I, I don't know why you couldn't just take the slides and dub the sound in with it. I don't know. But, but, but we'll we'll figure it yeah. out. We'll figure it out and okay. and to be determined. Rebecca and Eric could give us a great deal of help in deciding how to do it easily. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna call it a Zoom substitute for now. Okay. I, I, I'm, oh, I from my point of view, if we're going to go with digital stuff on the internet, I, I think we just want to present vignettes that people like things that are quick and mm -hmm. that they can absorb one at a time, not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10 at a time. And I think that might be the thing to do with that. Um, I did get a little more. I was talking to somebody in town. I that recording business stuff. Yeah. Um, and I have maybe a little more insight about what's going on with pictures at the store, but I still haven't talked to anyone. Okay. And apparently, he's got some up over there that they've gotten from one place and another, and they're looking for others. But I have some idea of what's going on. Okay. And I may help Faith with one that could go there. Um, yeah, we'll go on. Okay, well, that that was one of my urgent concerns is whether or not yeah. we should just hold off. It's still early September. It's, I don't, I guess the real thing that comes in at this point is we really should be doing preparation for it already. I know. I've I've already asked three people if they would help. Yeah. Because yeah. I get too anxious if I don't have a plan. Oh yeah. You're right. That's <laughs> not <laughs> it's not premature to be doing that. Yeah. The thing is, I suppose we need to decide sooner rather than later whether to let it go for now. The idea is still a good idea, and if it's done at some other time, so be it. But we've got to do it in a time when COVID is down instead of up. Um, okay, I think that we should cancel our 
<clears throat> I do too. I think we should cancel our open house and refer people to Facebook um, as soon as Rebecca's ready. Yeah, I think we need. I think we need to get ourselves with a better presence on online in two or three different ways. We should be working on that. And, I think that, and and that's the way to, you know, interface with the public for now. People, if people are staying in somewhat because of COVID, they they're going to spend more time with their computers. So, it's a okay. way to get attention. Yeah, we ought to we ought to figure out um, some sort of a permanent. Thing, though that we can put on the uh, town's website oh yeah we've got to go back and you know and and that's where you could have a slide thing i would think um a rolling slide well some like northboro has theirs on their facebook okay yeah and you can go to that anytime yeah, yeah. um we do have this is we don't have a facebook page though do we well the commission doesn't the society, the society is, is has one but it's not up and running yet that's what she's talking about trying to get going yeah. so, so oh. oh it's really easy to load photos yeah i'm just yeah i'm just and, and all you need to do is put a little blurb next to it that's right yeah and she she'll do that for us yeah. um, no i i loaded tons of photos onto the farm so yes but people do enjoy that. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know what the we still have, you know, on the society webpage. Yeah. We still have the photos that are in the hall here that rotate. I'm pretty sure they're still on there. Unless they took um, them off. I don't know that I ever saw them on there, but that's all right. I may have it's been so long since mm -hmm. I've been in it. And when I've gone in it, mostly I've gone in it to see if information was updated. And, yeah. and I haven't looked at it for yeah. quite a long. I don't even know who to contact now because it's not been updated. I, I mean, we're going to lose our chief and he was doing some, some of it. Who? We're going to lose our chief of police. Yes. Um, well, call Mary in the select board's office and ask her who will contact about stuff that's up on that website. Okay. And and some of that they've opened they've opened they've changed things in various ways so that people can actually go in and work on things in there. But I don't know about it. I haven't looked into it or taken care of it. But I know there are various different boards and groups that go in and handle their own stuff now. Um, I asked her to make some changes uh, yes. back along, and I I didn't get a reply from her, but there were some changes made. Um, maybe I did get a reply. It's, it's been quite a while now. Yeah, I think she she did reply when that was done. All right. So what? In order to clear out my yeah. foggy brain. Yeah. What what have we decided today to do? Well, I'll let Margaret know that we voted. Um, okay, Tim. Okay. I'll let Margaret know um, to go ahead to award the, uh, in the uh, yeah, when the minutes are available, we'll send her the minutes of the vote. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I can write the minutes. But they won't be approved, but that's, that's it doesn't fine. matter that's as fine. long as she, yeah. I can, it's all right to send them to her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and the other thing is to cancel October 16 and offer mm -hmm. some social media. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to tell her you will send her the minutes or just put her on distribution when you, when you send them out? Um, yeah, you can just tell her that I'll send her the minutes out. On, when you distribute yeah, them yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's it, except uh, except any other. I did have a list, but this morning just turned to 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Went, went to, this issues. morning went to shreds. Yeah, yeah. yeah so before, before I even got here, so. Um, so, so the, the other the other thing I promised to do um, is to start a pre-application for the uh, scanning mm -hmm. of the inventories that we have, our original inventories, mm -hmm. and try to um, come up with a cost because the pre-application definitely wants a, um, an estimated cost. Didn't we decide that at the last meeting? The cost. Mm -hmm. Didn't we? Didn't we talk about that? We talked about it, but I don't think we know how much it would cost. At least I don't. All right. It's gonna be. I thought it was four thousand or something. Is it in the minutes? Hmm. We've got a scan. I don't think you put in the minutes. X number of pages of handwritten text, and we can go through and count those. So that we have some accurate number of that. Um, and I guess what we just need is those scans plus um, getting it up online somehow. Yeah. Well, Marty would have an idea, right? Is it those journals? Yeah. You're he, trying to get done? He could, I guess he could, yeah. The, the pages in the book. Yeah. yeah. They, he would. Because they, because it's going to have to be really clear, you know, uh, and readable. Yeah. So well, I don't know if he'd have to enhance them at all after he took the photos or. Yeah, he probably would. Yeah. So but that's, that's usually part of. Right. I mean, once in a while, you don't right. do that, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know how evenly they'll, I haven't ever tried to scan them, so I don't know how even did they go. I know that the the copies that we made on the copy machine years ago, old copies, and those are not faded. Well, they aren't faded, but they, they had to read some, some of them. Mm -hmm. um, um, so it would be- Would someone like Marty be able to do that work or is that a conflict of interest or? Um, would Okay. These would, would, about that. would these okay. be put on a scanner? Um, he, if he did it, he would actually shoot them because that's how he does things. Yeah. But you could. I mean, the scanners are so good today. That's what I was just wondering if there's one. The thing is, is that you, that we could recommend that yeah. we could. Um, you'd hurt. still, you'd still have to enhance them. Yeah. Because I, what I did for. Um, the farm, the Cordelia's farm, with the Civil War letters, is I actually did scan them, but James told me not to worry about enhancing them. That he said he would do that. Well, I'm sure that he hasn't, but at least the raw scans are there. Right. But um, so you have to do it anyway. Mm. You, if you shoot them raw you download them and then you fix them yeah it's a, it well it's the quality of the scanner that determines yeah we don't have a we just have yeah. a regular scan yeah uh, so that's why he prefers to shoot because he can enlarge things well that's because that's what he's used to you know? he can manipulate yeah. all that yeah. without thinking much too much about it well um, <clears throat> what are but other most people would I would think would they wouldn't fuss with it. Yeah. Although when I took that little class, that workshop to scan documents, um, it wasn't to scan documents. It was for fam how to deal with family collections. Mm -hmm. They they said they didn't um, prefer one method over the other. Photo or right? Or they, really? Yeah. But it just depends on depends your equipment. On the quality. I mean, if, if you're going to do it with your phone, then obviously <laughs> yeah, right, right. scanning is better. Um, even my scanner on my printer would be, well, I don't know. Some phones are pretty amazing. But did it's still I ever not. show you the stuff that I did from those old time reports that I scanned, reprinted and stuff? I saw the, the reports are good. Yeah. Um, handwritten 
No, 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 no. This, is, this is the printed stuff from okay. the 1850s oh. and 60s. Yeah. Well, they came out great. What did I you thought. do? What did you do them on? You just on my flat top on, scanner. On the flat top scanner yeah. at yeah. home. Yeah. Um, I've got two scanners at home because I've got a second one that I so I could do slides, and that's a better scanner, and you can do that kind of stuff on that too. I haven't done that kind of stuff on it as much, but I, that's the one that I do the photo stuff on. And I take the, I've taken the glass, the, that one can do, um, the glass plates. transparent things. Transparent. So you can take, you can scan the negative and then produce a positive print off it. You mm -hmm. can scan the, um, I've scanned a couple of the glass plates, a number of the glass plates, actually. Um, forget about it, but I did, did do several. And um, yeah. some of them, uh, I mean, some of them come out great. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Some of them need enhancement. <clears throat> I've got that one, and I, I just happened onto a print that I made of it. <coughs> Taken from up on Powder House Hill down this way. <clears throat> and it shows the old the school here. And it shows the Munter House when it was still here on this site. Mm -hmm. Um so it was taken uh well it was taken the early 20th century, around nineteen ten or something like that, probably. Mm -hmm. Um and we've got a print of that in the collection in the stuff that came from uh, the field field family and <coughs> right rice family um so but that's an i mean it just it shows this whole landscape down this way mm -hmm. and it's the only thing i've ever found that actually showed their house in situ mm -hmm. and yet it's really faint i mean it was a the print is a, is an old print and it's fairly faint. Mm. I don't know how good it ever was. <clears throat> and I don't know whether somebody can enhance it with more. I, I tried to dig up the contrast some, but mm -hmm. somebody that's more adept at that might be able to do something. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but there are a few things like that of great pictures that would be good and also would be good to share. Because um, it's a familiar location. Hi. Hi, Margaret. Are you all meeting? Hello. We're trying. Yeah, we're yeah. Um, it's sort of conversation now. And um, <laughs> did we want to adjourn? Oh, true. Sure. We could yeah. instead. The only thing that's still in it is the big house next door. That's that's in it. That's still here. And I guess the houses across the street may show a little bit too. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, if you can find if you find it, I can have Marty put it in Photoshop and see. He'll shoot it and then he can give it back to you. And uh, well, I mean, it's in the collection so somewhere. It's somewhere. In, in that stuff I found. Okay. Uh, I, I I right this minute I can't put my hand on it. <laughs> okay, so elaine will communicate with margaret about our two yep. motions our two yeah our two read the bullard house and i will take a stab at a, a pre-application for the scanning mm -hmm. and barry you want to take a, a, a take a go at the uh, a cpa pre-application for the portraits and i can call the Worcester Art Museum and see. Yeah, make the call and see about that. See what the referrals would be. What we might have for restorers around here these days. Okay. Um, and um, what else did I promise to do? Oh, I just have one other question. Yeah. Um, what kind of a timeline are we uh, going to do? Margaret's going to ask. Oh, that's right. On the on the timbers. On the sills. What would be. Um, reasonable a completion date mm. for the sill work right um the, uh, the end of november would that be reasonable i 
to me, that's something you've got to negotiate with them. Right. With and that's what company. I was thinking. She might might leave it to her to do that, to get it as quickly yeah. as possible. Just work it out with him. Yeah. 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 So you that's just, what I thought, too. You I just, mean, that's the, let's face it, she has to do it. The rest of us aren't. Right. Can't. So right. she has to do it. So that's the thing is you try to figure out when they'll do it. I mean, we, needless to say, I would not think they'd be wanting to do it the dead of winter. Right. And so it's either get it done before winter or do it right after winter. Yeah. Or well, I would think they might get it done. Yeah, this I, fall. Think, I think they would. Um, just advocate for an early. Yeah, as early as possible. Uh, yeah. They could get it done by the end of November. That would be super. Um, but I think that I'm, I'm less concerned about that than I am about having it well done. <clears throat> I don't want to. Right. I don't want right. to rush it. Right. But just, right. Yeah. Now, um, when we were there at the Bullard House, um, when he was looking at the, at the house, um, he almost stepped into one of those holes. The one on the, the one out at the corner. Yes, the we have to get that filled in. So I'm going to mention that to Margaret, to just on a liability basis alone. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Throw so, some gravel in the hole. It's been done before, and it needs to be done again. But um, <coughs> that and maybe throw a little something in where it's right there at the house, you know, so that uh, help stop some of the critters or whatever and the yeah. water. Yeah. Okay. Until we can get a, you know, get the rest of the work done. Okay. Okay. So motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Elaine, aye. June, aye. And the time is 11.27. Is that right? 11.27.